Hey there, I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler. Of course, all eyes on the warmth that we're dealing with as well as the weekend when another cold blast comes in. But some good news, what once looked like a big Arctic bitter blast for the weekend is now looking much weaker and much more modified. Take a look. All right, so I start you off with a look at the seven day forecast. Notice low temperatures in the 30s by morning, then 40s, 50s, close to 60 degrees. So we will see a warming trend, not only with warm highs in the 70s, but also milder lows. Now, there will be the potential of seeing some patchy fog and even some drizzle developing, mainly Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday is our best chance of seeing rain with the cold front moving through over the weekend. The change? in temperatures from 70s for high Saturday to 50s for highs on Sunday. Not all that extreme. And here's part of the reason why. A week ago, it was looking like the Arctic air was going to come funneling right out of the uh, northern plains and the Arctic down through Texas. And now it looks like it's going to kind of be modified by the time it gets here. So we're taking a look at one of the computer models and the timestamp on this one is Thursday around midday. So if we take, take a look at the precipitation to our north and notice how there's that little blue line that's the 540 thickness line that line is corresponding to some of the colder air trying to break off and head to the south so Texas is actually going to see mild air meaning rain ahead of this system we're talking uh, early Saturday morning for this so rain and maybe even some thunderstorms as you head toward northeast Texas while all the cold air stays bottled up to the north at least temporarily. Now finally, as we head toward Saturday evening, that's when we start to see those colder areas push in. By that time we're dry. And instead of being a major plunge in our temperatures, it's more of a glancing blow because look how temperatures by early on Monday do start to get down into the uh, chilly range, but then they quickly lift out. So this is one particular map. Now let me transfer you and show you a different one. This is the uh, temperatures at 850 millibars, so basically looking aloft several thousand feet. And this can also be a good indicator of kind of watching that cold air come in. So I'm starting you off here on Saturday morning and the cold, meaning zero, which would correspond to freezing temperature potential, that is going to be hovering up toward the north into the central plains and upper Midwest. And watch what happens as we work through time. There you go. There's that cold air trying to break off, making it toward central Texas as we head toward Sunday midday and Monday as well. And then it pretty much lifts out. Now, this is one particular computer model. Let me show you one other one. This computer model is the European computer model, which I actually like a lot. And it does still have a little bit more bite as far as the cold air is concerned. So starting on the European model at Saturday morning, and again, we're looking for those blues corresponding to the colder air coming in. There you go, by the time we reach Sunday, midday, some of that cold is breaking off and pulling through central Texas and maybe even lingering out toward the west as we head toward Monday. So a little bit of a longer shot of cold air and then that too lifts out. So welcome to my world. That's basically what I do is I compare and contrast all the computer models every day and you kind of get a gut instinct for what is and what isn't probably going to pan out. The more I look at things, the more I think that seeing temperatures like we did this past go around with an Arctic front where we only make highs in the 20s or 30s, just not looking likely. Instead, because basically the system looks like it will take its sweet time getting here, which will allow the cold air to at some point dissipate a little bit. We'll probably have a couple of cold nights and cool days come Sunday, Monday, maybe and into Tuesday. Aside from that, it doesn't look like anything that we haven't already seen before. So in a nutshell, cold front, yes. Bitter blast, mm, not so much at this point. Have a great week.